We are in Acts 4, 19 through 22. But Peter and John answered and said to them, whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you more than God, you judge. Uh, it was very self-evident. They couldn't, uh, they should listen to God instead of man. Peter made an effective appeal to this truth. For we cannot speak the things which we, uh, for we cannot speak the things which we have seen and heard. Uh, Peter and John must speak of these things which they had seen and heard. They had to. Uh, there was an inner compulsion. The Holy Spirit was pushing them to do it. We are the witnesses, Acts 1.8. They did not originate the message. They just simply rela re relayed the, uh, the eyewitness account. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding no way of punishing them because, the people, because of the people, since they all glorified God for what had been done. For the man was over 40 years old on whom the miracle of healing had been performed. Jewish leaders were completely unmoved by the obvious miracle from God. Yet they responded to public opinion. This proves they cared far more about man's opinion than God's opinion. Where do you stand? Are you forced to hold back because of man's opinion?